Okay, here's the uh, base of the lolly column that I'm actually was concerned about. I uh, broke through this very thin superficial layer of concrete. It's only a couple of inches thick and uh, underneath there was just loose pack which was easily um, excavated out with a trowel. So um, there's actually essentially a cavity under here once you dig out. This is basically like a floating, um, really just a floating layer of uh, non-structural concrete. So here's the lally column. Um, it's painted here below grade. You can see uh, some, some rust which has occurred. This is a dry basement, but um, I think maybe more water vapor um, played a role or maybe water was under here at some point. But um, the concern was that the lally column actually had, the steel had seemed to have uh, rusted away here in this location, and we actually have what appears to be concrete, um, a concrete uh, expo exposure here through the lally column. So that got me wondering whether or not this column has been compromised. Uh, upon excavation and then a little bit of in investigation, I found that we do seem to have um, a footing here. We're now, uh, as I said, underneath um, the superficial layer of concrete and uh, you know, underneath the loose pack. And around the column, I am scraping a hard uh, surface. Kind of listen here. So definitely a solid footing under here. And I kind of test it all the way around. Um, the, the footing seems to go um, around, the, at least from what I've excavated, it's kind of going around in this direction. Um, if I dig out from under the pack in this direction, it kind of, it continues for some inches away from the column. I'm not sure how far it goes. Um, it's, the, the, I can tell even back here, you know, you can't very, really hear it very much, but there we are. Even right here, I'm still hitting a footing. And uh, at that point, um, five inches away from, uh, you know, four and a half, five inches away from the column, I'm still hitting, I'm still hitting a footing. So I have to assume this goes all the way around. I don't know how many inches it um, goes away from the footing, but this is kind of a big picture of what we have. Um, this is the column going into uh, a beam that extends across. Um, it actually runs nine feet into the foundation on this side. It goes seven feet and then hits this other lally column uh, here. And then it continues on for another nine feet and ties into the foundation again. The actual beam itself looks to be pretty... Uh, Fairly straight, no significant sign of any sagging or anything. Um, kind of looking under here, uh, everything sort of looks fairly straight for a 95 year old house. Kind of see the shape of it here. So, anyways, my main concern was was this column uh, compromised due to of the lally column the footing. Um, I have verified that there is a footing and uh, again I we do have a footing here. So that's, uh, that's the concern that I had, and I'm not sure if there is much of a concern here, but I just wanted to share this.